Next up, I'm going to show you how to make a nice power generator that also is a boombox that runs on solar and can recharge on solar or run on AC, DC power, whatever you want, and has an inverter to plug in things on AC household power. Up next. So first off, size comparison. This is the Harbor Freight regular 50 caliber can. As you can tell, it's not as tall. It's not as long. And it's not as wide as the prestigious Fat 50 can. I got some Sony five and a quarter speakers, four ways, XSR1346 speakers. It's peak power is 230, but really all you really care about is the uh, RMS, which is 35. I found a little cheapy battery. The things I'm gonna have is a power inverter. So I'm gonna have AC power outlets on this thing and a USB charger. Harbor Freight Centic 750 watts of continuous power peak of 1500 boom this thing is going to solar recharge itself now this is not a super strong thing it's not going to power it it's basically just a trickle charger which is kind of nice because i don't think i need any kind of crazy things on the battery so they don't make this easy on this panel so uh these are just little plastic plastic welded nubs i think so i'm going to drill those out to try to get this panel out to see how much smaller we can get this thing to get ah there we go using my Harbor Freight Pittsburgh pick. It's starting to sound like uh, Tim the Toolman Taylor. But uh, yeah, I buy all their stuff. Now let's see, it's just a regular Phillips. So if I jack that one up too bad or not. Oh no, I did not, good, it still comes out. Okay, let's see, it's sealed in there pretty good. All right. Taking it out of its casing, it is significantly smaller. It just barely fits in there. I'll probably do a similar mount to where it's got a, a glued seal around it so it's waterproof-ish on the top. Ooh, now we're gonna have to Cut into that lid. Let's take this plate out, which holds that seal in. So I might be able to reuse that seal by gluing it in. Just had little uh, cheap spot welds holding that in, so cool. Shoot, that is that is perfect. That fits nice. Now the, the one thing you got to remember, it's got this charging light indicator. I think what I'm gonna do is reseal this first. Okay, what we're going to use for our amplifier and our stereo source, it's an AK380. And uh, taking off the four screws on the back and the two on the side, two there. And now I'm just trying to get it to come apart. I need to take the knobs off. And that's what we're working with on the inside. We're going to basically use this plate as a template. Centered as possible. Okay, yeah, that's a good fit. All right, sorry about that, guys. My phone died while filming the mounting of this, but basically, you get the gist. The uh, the back plate comes on, um, the screws on this, on these knobs, hold it together, as well as these four uh, screws that is mounted into the, uh, the amplifier. 
Uh, all right, so let's see what this thing looks like, all right? Look at that pretty blue glow. Ooh, hi. So yeah, we got the uh, line. I hit the mode button here. You got FM radio and Bluetooth. Now, if we had a USB plugged in for MP3 or an SD MMC card, um, that would light up as well. And then we have our controls, which would change the tracks, you know, your play functionality. When it's on radio, it actually has presets. And the real cool thing about this is if you hit this play button, check this out. It just scans for a signal and automatically sets your channels. How cool is that? Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I bought some plugs um, with the grounds and I got some leftover wire and the plugs with the grounds will simply plug in the back black suit and the other end will hook up to right here like so. All right, got her spliced in, got my ground line on on the top and lights on one side, lights on the other. Let's get the ends on now. This is what the inside of the plug looks like. All right, got our wires all tied in. And let's go ahead and close this thing down on itself. Like so. Screw down, nice tight fit, plugged in. And we just mount it. I still need to obviously hook up the power up to this end and uh, make a uh, tube connect to that so it exhausts very well. Okay, working on my inverter. I got these plugs set up and this is ready to get mounted. Uh, this is the uh, the DC side. Um, it came with these little uh, alligator clips. So I just cut off the end and I, the one end that it has is just a, a closed loop. And then on the other end, I took and just put a open loop uh, to go to the battery. So after a little bit of filing, we got our uh, AC outlet mounted. Now, the other thing I'm adding to this, cigarette plug. And uh, the reason why I got this is so, well, you could use a cigarette plug if you wanted to, but I got this cool little adapter uh, for charging iPhones. It'll just sit in there uh, like that. And the reason why I like this one is, I'll show you when I get it hooked up, but it's got the, um, the voltage display on there, so it's pretty cool. And uh, it's kind of nice, so if you want to take it out when not in use, you could always plug it. Um, I do have covers for this, and uh, maybe I should get some sort of covers for that, but we'll see. All right, I keep running out of iPhone storage, but got that hole drilled out, another ugly hole, but fits good. I took out the stereo just because it kept getting in the way, and I got the hole cut easier. All right, so we got this guy all wired up. Two plugs that go to my extension. These guys, which will go to the battery, but um, I'm going to put a switch in line. So Velcro, um, you know, it's 15 pound rated, and believe me, it does stick. So uh, we'll just put a couple strips of Velcro on the back of this. That way there I can take it off if need be. This is all in there. Velcroed in. Top of that hole is like right there by the lash, so. Oh, a lot does not come out on that side. So let's see what it looks like on the inside. So it gets all nice and smooth in there. Our amplifier. Um, it came with a power adapter that is a, well, fortunately, a 12 volt uh, 5 amp output, which is good. We got the 12 volts off our battery. To prevent it from going over, I'm going to put an inline 5 amp fuse on it uh, just to protect the stereo from anything crazy. All right, uh, let's see. This switch is from a company called uh, Amper. This is what it looks like. It is a heavy duty switch because this is for a battery. But it's the only thing I could find that had a, a nice mount like this so I can mount it. All right, here we go. Not the best of job, but uh, not the worst of jobs.
There we go. Battery on, battery off. Yeah. Cool. There it goes. 12.8. It's a battery life. Cool, huh? So this is the uh, little power light indicator from the solar panel. And uh, I just soldered it down really good, glued it, and now I'm going to wrap it up with some tape just to hold it a little bit extra. I need to um, extend it, and then I'm going to push this boop, um, through the lid to um, see the light. And, um, you know, you can see the extension wire that I got there to connect to the panel. And uh, let's get that going. I'm going to use switch that features on off on so when it's in the center it's completely off when you pick a direction it turns it on in that direction so this is a standard harbor freight triple charger and it's got a nifty little light too i'm going to cut the ends off of it and run it to one of these terminals Always put your loop in the same direction so when it tightens down on the screw, it doesn't kick out the, uh, the wire. I just like my connectors on the battery. And the last thing is, is the leaves off of the solar panel, which this thing's drying. I, put, I might put ends on this too, just so I don't fry this thing, because the solar panel is always providing power. Flop all over the place. Let's see, so down is DC for the charging. And I'll still need to put like some sort of plug in for the outlet, because I have these two AC plugs. So I'll need to figure that out, but that'll come later. The constant, which is the amplifier. All right, so if we want to make down DC like that, uh, DC needs to be on top. Label, O is off, up is solar, down is DC. Real trick, putting this together without making a complete mess. A little bit of weight, hold it down. All right, so I'm mounting the amp now, and uh, I didn't have enough room for the the box uh, that it came in. This is just a casing, really. So I uh, put an insulator between everything and that, and uh, now we're just locking her down faceplate on here and she should be good to go here pretty soon still need to get the top on not too bad looking huh all right need to get the light mounted for the solar panel I'm not gonna do the outputs yet because I, I need to get a, another thing. I just want to test this thing out. That blue LED's flashing, meaning we're getting power. All right. Uh, all right. So we want to go Bluetooth. Turn my Bluetooth on. Searching for other devices. Is this it right here? BT? I think so. Let's try to get some sound. Good. I got the two uh, AC outlet covers on there. I might get uh, some sort of cover for this. Maybe for these guys or just unplug it when it's not in use. Um, there's that solar charge light just 
blinking away. Here, darkness you can see. Boom. Every time that hits, that's power flowing back in. But it sounds good. It's looking pretty good. I don't have anything on that side except for a porthole uh, for the, um, the cooling system for the inverter. So my handle, you know, boom. Walk around with it. Easy peasy. It's not on it's not on level on balance, but you can tote it around and have a cool handle. So hey, rock and roll. Well, uh, I'm gonna add just a plug to this, but this build is just about done, guys. Um, I explained all these switches already to you. So um, we'll just go through it one more time. Uh, the switches. So this guy right here, I'm gonna label all these. This is to turn this on and off. Um, this guy right here is for the power for the amp. You have the option of uh, no power in the middle. Flip it up. That means it's running on the battery. Flip it down. It'll use the uh, DC power supply that um, I have in there, which I need to come up with a plug on the other side. That's the only thing I need to do is make a plug on the other side to plug in AC. Um, and then this one is for... Up is solar charge for the panel to go to the battery. In the middle is no charge. And down is for the AC trickle charger. Uh, again, if it's plugged in, it will trickle charge the battery via AC. And this big guy is to turn the inverter on and off. On, off, which turns these plugs on and off. Pretty cool, huh, guys? What do you think? Uh, leave me some comments, some ideas. Let me know what you guys think.